Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Forhat in which we would look at the degree of operating leverage. We're going to compute that degree of operating leverage and we're going to explain the effect of the degree of operating leverage of two at two different companies, ATAC and ZTAC. Before I start, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. Please subscribe to my YouTube where I have close now to 2000 plus YouTube lectures about financial accounting auditing, tax, finance, and various accounting courses. And if you're studying for your CPA exam, I practically have many, if not all, accounting, audit, and tax topic covered. On my website, you will find additional resources in, in addition to my lectures that will help you in your CPA or your accounting and some of your finance courses. I strongly suggest you check out my website. So let's take a look at this exercise and see how we compute the degree of operating leverage. We have two companies. We have ATAC has a fixed cost of 7 million and profit of 4 million. Its competitor, ZTAC, is roughly the same size and this year earned a profit of 4 million. Notice the profit is the same, but it operates with a higher fixed cost of 8 million and a lower variable cost. Obviously, if it, if it made the same income and it has a higher fixed cost, it must have a lower variable cost. So the first thing we're going to compute is each firm operating leverage and we're going to see which one the higher operating leverage and which firm will likely have a higher profit if the economy strengthened so i'm going to do both if the economy strengthened or if the economy weakened so let's take a look at what we are giving simply put i'm going to make up some numbers for atac and ztac so i'm going to assume sales is 13 13 million this is all in million notice fixed cost is all what they're giving us in this problem is fixed cost and profit for ATAC fixed cost and profit for for uh, for ZTAC so I'm going to make up some numbers this is actually what I did so I took so I assumed sales is the same for both variable cost is 2 for ATAC minus 7 so 13 million minus 2 variable cost minus 7 fixed cost equal to the profit of 4 million ZTAC same sales minus variable cost of one minus fixed cost of eight equal to four. So notice I make them both the same has the same profit with different with different uh, variable and fixed cost. <clears throat> now, the first thing is which has a higher operating leverage. Hopefully, without even performing the computation, you would know that ZTAC has a higher operating leverage. Why? Because looking at their profit relative to their fixed cost, this one has a higher fixed cost. But simply put, if you want to compute the degree of operating leverage, the formula is you'll take your fixed cost divided by profit and you add one. You add one to this computation. So if we take <clears throat> fixed cost, which is eight, fixed cost is eight. And uh, I'm sorry, let's start with ATAC seven divided by four plus one, it's going to give us 2.75, the, the degree of operating leverage for ATAC. So this is 2.75. Let's do the same thing for ZTAC. Eight divided by four plus one, that's equal to three. So the degree of operating leverage is three. As, as I told you, without even doing the computation, you would know that ZTAC is, is more leverage than ATAC. Now, what does that mean? 2.75 and 3. So it's very important that you understand what does it mean, the degree of operating leverage, because it's easy to compute. I mean, I could have answered this question without even doing any computation, as long as you have a basic understanding of it. Well, let's assume, so let's assume we're going to, uh, e the economy strengthened and sales, it's going to increase 20% for ATAC and 20% for ZTAC. So let's look at the effect of that 20% increase in sales for both companies. So if we increase 13 million by 20%, it's gonna give us 15.6 million. We're gonna increase uh, the variable cost exactly by 20%. It's gonna be 2.4 million. So basically what I did is I took 13 times 1.2, 2 times 1.2, which is 20%. The original figure and add 20% to it. Fixed cost is the same. That's the nature of fixed cost. Therefore, the profit will be 6.2. So notice, sales, sales went up by sales. So sales went up by 20%. The profit margin went from 4 to 6.2. 6 profit margin went up by 
55%. Let's look at Z company. Same thing. Sales went up by 15, variable cost, I'm sorry, went up to 15.6 by 20%, variable cost up by 1.2, fixed cost stay the same, their profit is 6.4. Notice the, the increase, so sales increase by 20%, the profit increase by 60%. Well, the profit increase really three times. And this is the degree of operating leverage. Simply put, simply put what you do, once you compute that 2.7 and 3, once you compute the 2.7 and 3, the degree of operating leverage, all what you have to do to find out what's the effect on the bottom line and any changes in sales. So if sales went up 20%, you will take 20% times 2.75 will give you 55%. And this is how we computed 55%. Z company, if sales increase by 20%, the same as ATAC, times 300%, sales will increase by 60%. So notice, because Z company is more leverage, what's going to happen? The more sales they make, the higher is the bottom line. The higher is the bottom line relative to ATAC, because ATAC, actually both companies are leverage in this situation. I mean, very leverage. I'm going to work another example where one, one company is more leverage than the other. Now, let's look at the downturn. What happened in a downturn? Now, let's assume sales goes down by 20%. Let's see how the this re, that's the, this reduction in sales will affect the bottom line. Uh, so, we'll take sales 13 times 0 0.8, which is 10.4. 2 times 0 0.8, because this is very variable cost, goes down by the same amount. Fixed cost is the same. The profit is 1.8. Notice... We, br we brought sales down, now sales went down, the sales went down 20%, the reduction in the profit is 55%. And you can guess, sale went down by 20% for Z company, the profit went down by 60%. So notice, Z company is more affected negatively. It's more affected positively when, when the sales goes up, but it's more affected negatively. But again, this is not the best example because notice they're both kind of highly leveraged relative to variable cost. Let's change to show you the effect even higher. Let's assume ATAC has a sales of 13, variable cost of six, and fixed cost of three. So what I'm doing is I'm changing ATAC, make it more variable cost company, the profit equal to four. ZTAC, I'm gonna keep it the same. They have $1 in variable cost, $8 in fixed cost. So we're starting at four and four. Now, if we compute their degree of operating leverage, A has 1.8 and ZTAC, it's gonna be the same three. Now let's change sales by 20% now. Well, if we change sales by 20%, what's gonna happen if we change sales by 20%, by 20 all we have to do is take 20% times 1.8, their profit will increase by 35%. So the difference between this profit, the, the increase in profit is 35%. However, the, the, uh, the change for Z company, the change in profit is 60%. Huge difference. Notice it's only, so notice they both increase by 20%. This is only went up 35. This 20% for Z company went up 60%. Almost, not double, but close to a double the effect on Z company in terms of profit. But also, let's go ahead and in that time, sales went down by 20%. Now, the profit goes down to 2.6. It goes down 35%. Here, the profit goes to 1.6, goes down by 60%. So on the downturn, Z company is more affected. And that's the power of leverage. In good time, leverage, leverage will will uh, will translate in more and an additional profit, in pure profit, more to your bottom line. But in bad time, you will be you will be affected more negatively. And remember, this is operating leverage. We also have financial leverage. Very similar concept. Financial leverage is when you have debt because that is a fixed cost. So that will be a fixed cost. So you could also. Uh, compute that leverage based on that and we'll talk about this later on when we talk about the financial statement analysis later on uh, in this course as always if you like this recording please like it and share it and i'm going to always invite you to visit my website farhatlectures.com for additional resources for this course or especially for your cpa exam study hard stay safe and good luck